हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल फॉर द सलूशन ऑफ सच मोर प्रॉब्लम्स नाउ लेट्स सॉल्व दिस पर्टिकुलर प्रॉब्लम इन दिस प्रॉब्लम वी आर रिक्वायर्ड टू डिटरमाइन द रेंज ऑफ मास एम फॉर व्हिच द 100 केजी ब्लॉक इज इन इक्विलिब्रियम ऑल व्हील्स एंड पुलीज हैव नेग्लिजिबल फ्रिक्शन एंड सो वी हैव टू डिटरमाइन द मास रेंजेस फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर मास व्हिच विल कीप दिस 100 केजी मास इज इन इक्विलिब्रियम राइट this inclined plane is making 20 degree with the horizontal and this inclined plane is making 10 degree with the horizontal right so now we uh, we need to consider both of these uh, masses uh, the free body diagram of both of these masses right so what we will have we will have the tension force acting in this direction first of all let me define my coordinate system right so let's say that the my y axis is parallel to the inclined plane right to this inclined plane right so this y axis is will be making 10 degrees with the vertical right so this is my y axis let's say this is my y axis and my x axis is, is perpendicular to this plane right so this is my x axis is right so now the tension in the cable will be acting along the y axis is along the positive y axis is. this will be the tension in cable right let's say this is T and the weight of this block will be acting vertically downward right so let me represent that weight right that weight will be acting vertically downward like this right so and the normal force uh, exerted by this inclined plane on this block will be acting in this direction that is in the positive x direction right so let's say this is n1 let's say this is the mg and this is the tension right so since this weight is vertical and this uh, y axis is, is parallel to this inclined plane so this means that this mg is making that 10 degrees with the y axis is right so this is that 10 degrees and here since we have wheels and in the statement it is said that all wheels and pulleys have negligible friction right so here we will have no friction right it is given in the statement right so now if if i consider this mass m right let me write that mass and that is the hanging mass right so now if we apply the summation of forces along y equals to 0 so is we can see that this t force is acting in the positive y direction so i will write t minus the cos component of this mg right the cos component of this mg will be acting in the negative y direction right so i have to write mg cos of 10 degrees and this would be equal to 0 from this equation we can say that tension in the cable will be equal to the cos component of the weight of this particular mass right so this is mg cos of 10 degrees right let's say this is our equation 1 now if i consider this 100 kg mass let me write that this is 100 kg mass so we have to draw the forces on this 100 kg mass right so the tension in the cable is like this this cable is continuous right so we will have that tension in cable uh, like this so this will be equal to t and this will be equal to t as well right since this is a continuous cable right and again i will i will define my y axis is parallel to this inclined plane this inclined plane is making 20 degrees with the horizontal and similarly i will take my x axis is perpendicular to this inclined plane right so this is my y axis is this is my x axis is x axis is parallel to this inclined plane and y uh, axis is, is perpendicular to this inclined plane right so now as we can see that the at this surface we will have friction as well and there will be normal force which will be applied by this surface let's say this is n2 right and we will have the weight of this 100 kg block and that weight will be acting vertically downward right like this right so this is that 100 times 9.81 and 100 times 9.8 will be 981 newtons right so this is 981 newtons right if i extend the line of action of uh, this weight so it is perpendicular with the horizontal and this y axis is perpendicular with this inclined plane so this means that if this inclined plane is making 20 degrees with the horizontal then this weight is also making 20 degrees with the 
y axis is so this angle is 20 degrees right. So, now we can resolve this particular weight into its component right. So, we will have two components one component will be acting like this this one will be the cost component I can write that this one will be 981 cos of 20 degree and similarly it will have one component which will be acting in the negative x axis is direction this one will be the sine component this one will be 981 sine of 20 degrees right. Now, if we apply the equilibrium condition for the 100 kg mass, if I apply the summation of forces along y equals to 0. So, as we can see that this n 2 is acting in the positive y direction. So, I will write n 2 minus this cos component of the weight is acting in the negative y direction. So, I have to write 981 cos of 20 degrees and this will be equal to 0 or we can say that n 2 is equal to the cos component of that weight right. So, this is uh, 981 cos of 20 degrees. So, the N 2 is 921.84. So, N 2 is 921.84 Newtons. Now, for this problem we have two possibilities of motion right either this 100 kg block can move upwards either it either the motion can be impended in the upward direction that is in the uh, parallel to the inclined plane in the upward direction and either we can have the motion in the downward direction right. So, let us say for case A if the motion is impending upwards right if motion is impending upwards right. So, if the motion is impending upwards if this 100 kg block is moving upward then the friction force will be acting downwards right. So, we will have the friction force here this will be the friction force like this and it will be equal to mu s times n 2 right and mu s is 0 0.30 right. So, this friction force will be equal to 0.3 and 2 right. So, now if I apply the for both the cases this n 2 will remain the same right since in the y direction there is no addition of uh, an extra force right. So, only the direction of this friction force will change if, if the motion is upward then this friction force will be acting downward if the motion is downward then this friction force will be acting uh, in the upward direction that is parallel to the inclined plane in the upward direction right. So, now if I apply the summation of forces along x for this condition. So, as we can see that this t and this t they are acting in the positive x direction. So, we can write that this is t plus t or we can say 2 t minus the sine component of this weight right. Here we have that sine component of this weight as well which is acting here right. So, we can write it as minus 981 sine of 20 degrees and this friction force is acting in the negative x direction. So, I will write minus 0 0.3 and 2 and n 2 is equal to 921.84 and this is equal to 0 right. So, I can simplify it this will be 981 sin of 20 degrees minus 0 0.3 into 921.84. We have both the negative sign right this is minus minus 981 right. So, this gives us minus 612.07 right. So, this is 2 t minus 612.07 equal to 0 or we can say that 2 t equals to 612.07 and if I divide both side of equation by 2 right. So, 612.07 divided by 2 this gives me 306.04. So, we can say that t is equal to 306.04, 306.04 Newton right. And from equation 1 we know that t is equal to mg cos of 10 right. So, I can write mg cos of 10 equals to 306.04 and if you want to find the mass right. So, then mass would be equal to 306.04 divided by g cos of 10 and g is 9.81 cos of 10 right. So, this mass is equal to so this 306.04 uh, 
zero four three hundred and six point zero four divided by nine point eight one cos of ten degrees. So this give me a mass of three hundred thirty one point six eight thirty one point six eight kg mass. Right? If if the mass of this block is equal to 31.68 or greater than 31.68 so this 100 kg block will start moving upwards right now if if we take case b right for case b if the if motion is impending downwards If motion is impending downwards then this friction force the direction of this friction force will be in the opposite direction like this right and now if I apply the summation of forces along x equals to 0. So again we have these 2t forces so this is 2t minus that uh, sin component of this weight which is 981 sin of 20 degrees and this is acting in the positive x direction so I have to write plus 0 0.3 and 2 and then 2 is again uh, 921.84 921.84 and this will be equal to 0 right so we can determine it this is minus 981 sine of 20 plus 0 0.3 into 921.84 and this gives me minus 58.97 so 2t minus 58.97 and this will be equal to 0 and from this we can say that t will be equal to 58.97 divided by 2 so 58.97 divided by 2 so this gives me 29.49 so t equals to 29.49 Newton. So now again from equation 1 we can equate t equals to mg cos of 10 right. So from this we can write that this t is equal to mg cos of 10 degrees and this is equal to 29.49 and if you want to find that mass m so this will be 29.49 divided by g cos of 10 and g is 9.81 cos of 10 degrees right so this will give us that mass right so this is 29.49 divided by 9.81 cos of 10 degrees right so this mass is equal to 3.05 3.05 kgs right so for both the cases the range of mass is mass can be greater than equal to 3.05 kg and can be less than equal to 31.68 kg. So now if the mass of this body is in this range if the mass is greater than equal to 3.05 kg and if it is less than 31.68 kg this 100 kg block will remain at rest that is in equilibrium. Right. So, this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope you people would have understood uh, the solution of this particular problem. Kindly like this particular video if you people want me to solve such more problems.